I think that's it for me. Have a great weekend. You too. Thanks, Manny. Checking finance now, and the share market is edging closer to the psychological barrier of 6,000 points. The ASX 200 hasn't been that high in three months. It closed today up 40 points. And our dollar's up again, buying 94 and a third US cents. My next next with the weather, and it's been a pretty good afternoon to start the weekend. Certainly has. Certainly nice work if you can get it. Temperatures were well up on the average in Sydney today. The weekend's a different story. I'll have all the good news next. I know you're disappointed it's Friday and the weekend's about to begin, but here's something to cheer you up. A weekend of rain, wind and really cold temperatures. Hopefully you made the most of today a beautiful 3 degrees outside while half of the city was working inside. And it's 19 right now. A bit wet around Sydney this morning, nothing extraordinary. Totals were no more than 3 millimetres. 23 was the lucky number. Parramatta, Liverpool, Richmond, Penrith, Campbelltown and Manly all hitting the mark. Now looking at us from space, a place I wouldn't mind going, there's a massive cold surge of air building in the bite. The meteorologists are getting very excited because it's heading into New South Wales tomorrow. There's even snow on the cards for the central and northern tablelands. Not enough to make a snowman, but you can't have everything. Now looking around the country, cold and wet across most of the southeastern majors. Even Brisbane expecting a storm, but you could go to Perth or Darwin. It'll be fine there. Now if you'd like getting seasick, then conditions on the water will be perfect tomorrow. Choppy northwest winds up to 30 knots, increasing to 33 knots offshore. It'll be okay tonight, mostly fine, but tomorrow windy and wet, particularly after lunch. So if the kids' sports matches are in the afternoon, don't forget your Ugg boots and nanny rug. The morning will be mostly sunny, then gusty winds and late showers, top temperatures all in the low 20s. Sunday's a day for Bonox on the couch, plenty of showers, very windy, showers easing during Monday but staying below 20 degrees all week. Now Chris, hide your disappointment. The bikini doesn't look like getting a dusting off this weekend. Thanks by the way for having me. Sarah's back on uh, from holidays on Monday. Sanity will return. Well, it's been a pleasure having you. I am devastated about the bikini news though. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for all your help. That's Sarah News to now but I'll be back later with updates and of course 7 News over the weekend. Hope you can join me then. I'm Chris Barth. Thanks for your company. Good night.